just a test. See if this is better. It was lagging before. Don't be lagging. Hello, what's up? Jazz hands, jazz hands. All right, we'll just get right into it. Um, this is me trying to get back into YouTube. And uh, the reason why I, I've been having issues before is um, not because I don't have enough time. I mean, I really don't have enough time. Um, but it's more finding content. What do I do? What do I say? And I don't want to be one of those um, influencers that kind of buy tech and review tech because I don't really have that much money. Um, I mean, should I buy another Cintiq? Maybe. That would be awesome. But I'm not going to do that. Um, so the whole point of this is just to get back into the flow of things. Um, hopefully post daily or at least a couple times a week. Um, it's just going to be a very simple draw and talk kind of thing. And it's going to be, it's kind of like Seinfeld, um, a show about nothing. It's just going to be, um, I think the concept is just going to be drawing and talking about just random things just to get myself drawing again. But, um, anyway, yeah, let's just get right into it. What? Minimize myself. Look at that animation. Did you see that? Uh, for the longest time, I was an effects artist. I did motion graphics. I don't know if you know that about me, but drawing has always been kind of a hobby. Uh, but yeah, the way I made my money before was um, motion motion graphics artist for 15 years, and I recently quit that. Well, I shouldn't say recently. I quit that about two and a half years ago. I would say. Um, Right now I'm more of like a creative director kind of a, I have a more of a creative director kind of role. Uh, it's it's been pretty cool. I mean, technically I shouldn't be doing any drawing at all, but I'm I'm still doing most of the drawings at this company, which is uh which is awesome because I think a lot of um a lot of artists would prefer that. The reason why they don't want to take on a creative director role aside from it being super like kind of scary is because they want to maintain that creative freedom of, um, of still being able to do artwork and I think that once you became once you become a creative director or once you move up creative director role is a pretty is a pretty serious role I guess you know once you move up the chain you just do less of what you want to do so I know many creative directors that don't do artwork at all many creative directors get hired to become a creative director when they shouldn't be a creative director they're just there because um, just because they know somebody it's who you know in this business it's who you know that's the most important thing skill goes a long way but honestly it doesn't go as far as you guys think it does. It's um, unless you're like extraordinary, where it's it's very clear that you are a cut above everybody else. But it is who you know. Everybody that I've hired has, um, I think. Okay. So, wow, well, Joe just wrote me. That's funny. I want to start up a stream with him very soon, and he's trying to get me to do a, a cover, which is fucking awesome. Sweet. I, hell yeah, I'll do a cover. Nice, that's good news. What was I saying before? Um, it's sad to say, but everybody that I've hired has kind of been like my friend <laughs> because I like them so much. They're such good people. Of course, I'm like a fan of their artwork and stuff like that as well. But like attitude and how well you work with somebody is the most important thing I find. And um, it is incestuous, like it's it's unfair. I feel really bad for people just starting out in the business where they have to start from scratch and you don't know anybody, you don't have any connections or anything like that. It's it's really, really rough. So I guess um, my advice to you guys is really, really get to know people. And it, it is a bit of a game. I'm not going to lie to you. You're going to have to kind of kiss ass a bit. But... Um, not to the point where you're selling out your soul or anything like that. Just be a pleasant person. Like, that goes a long way. And I know that, like, a lot of artists by nature are introverts. So you're kind of weird <laughs> to begin with. Uh, I don't know if that's offensive or whatever. But, I mean, I fall in that category as well. I, I used to be super weird. Um, only the way I am right now is because I'm, I'm really old. I'm actually 47 years old. I know I don't look 47. But um, I've had a lot of life. And I've gone through a lot. 
and I would say up until like maybe 30, I was super awkward, super, super weird. I didn't know how to act around people. It, it was it was a rough go, man. Uh, it's uh, I can't believe I made it this far, to be honest. And a lot of that, too, was going back to what I was saying before, is that um, I just knew people in the right areas. And um, there's a certain level of... Uh, I, I was there was a certain level of ignorance when it came to me too, um, how I got my first job and stuff like that. Um, I couldn't imagine doing that now; it just wouldn't fly. But maybe I'll get into that later on in in a, in a future story. But it's hilarious how I, I nailed my first job. Or actually, you know, you know what? I'll talk about it now because I really don't know what to talk about in this first um, episode. And I apologize. Actually, there's a lot of noise going on upstairs. My son is jumping up and down. He has dance class. So that's, that's what you're hearing. And the thing that I'm drawing on screen really is just me sketching. Um, and it's gonna be like this. A lot of it's just gonna be complete garbage, but it's it's just a vehicle for me to kind of um, try, try uh, do this YouTube video because it is an art channel and I, I wanna be relevant too. So I figured having like me speaking and having kind of artwork in the background is, is enough to like, build off of as something that's uh people would like to see and which goes um i was thinking about this as well like i'm gonna really depend on you guys too to kind of drive the show or <laughs> drive the show this is, a, this is a show all of a sudden but um to, to drive this channel just put down in the comments section what you want to talk about and i'm gonna i'll try to answer it all that's where i'm gonna like maybe um get a lot of my inspiration from so write down in the comment section what you want what you want to talk about if you have any questions or not if you have any questions or not or if you have any questions or anything like that um, like I said I've been in the industry for a very long time I can give you helpful hints as to how to get into the business um, how to how to behave how to act around people stuff like that a lot of it is just a big game um, but I know I'm making it sound terrible to artists like playing games is kind of um, disgusting I know I know that a lot of you guys can't can't stomach that but um that's just the way it is sometimes you just have to you just have to be able you just have to be smart yeah you're gonna have to know how to navigate your way around things but yeah put in the comment section i know that i'll probably i probably won't get a lot of engagement with this first video i'm hoping maybe after the 20th or the the 30th one um, i'll start getting people popping in and stuff like that and, and then it could become something but even right now i'm super nervous as you can tell i'm like stumbling and i i don't know what to say but um oh uh, god what was i saying before i uh, I, I don't have an itinerary for this show that's the problem maybe i should plan it out better but um i'll use this as a learning experience as well All right, I'm back. Um, I went silent for a bit there, and I had to um, kind of gather myself a bit. There's too many distractions. My wife is in the other room in the back, and my son's upstairs, like, jumping around and stuff like that. And I, I typically don't like to do these kinds of things when there's people around me because I just get very anxious and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm back, and um, I'm continuing to draw this character right now. But um, what was I saying before? Um, yeah, how I got into the, the industry, my first real paying job um doing creative things it's funny because um i graduated from art college a long time ago and um long 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 time ago super old but uh yeah just i, I believe it was a couple months i don't know my memory is a bit cloudy um oh no i was actually still in college and a couple of my friends they were um they were walking uh somewhere with their portfolios it was a couple good friends of mine um, and I'm like, what are you guys doing? Where are you going? And they were like, well, we were going to this uh, job interview. I'm like, can I come? And <laughs> I think uh, I think I remember looking at them. They're like, yeah, I, I guess if you wanna. That's kind of weird, but uh, that's how that's how green I was. Like I, I didn't know anything. I was so naive. Um, I thought that that was completely normal, just to kind of tag along and, and go to like um, go to an interview where you were never invited. Um, so that yeah. Anyway. I went to this interview. It was um, for a television station that did um, cartoons and stuff like that, uh, children's. It was a big tele. It's actually the biggest. At the time, it wasn't the biggest. It was one. It was a big television station, but um, nowadays it's it's the biggest television station in North America. 
and uh, they do a bunch of programs um, for Children's Network, um, W Network, which is women's uh, CMT and all that stuff. And um, they were going to go interview for a job um, at this place, and, and I tagged along. And uh, <laughs> it's funny because I, I still remember it too. It was um, I, I walk in there like uh, I think I had like a yeah I was wearing a tank top and I had like orange hair. It was really messed up. It was crazy. It was the the wackiest time. And for some reason, I thought that was completely fine just to be so unprofessional. So I ran back. I got more po my portfolio and um, went along with my buddies and um, did the interview. And I think it went well. I'm like, okay, whatever. It was normal. And the guy that was interviewing us, our, our boss at the time, didn't think that was weird at all, which was pretty awesome, actually. So he's he, he completely fine. He would just welcome me with open arms. He's like, come in, yeah, do the interview. Look at, looked at our stuff. He's like, yeah, we um, you know, I like your stuff. Didn't expect much from it. But a couple months afterwards, um, I got a phone call. It's like, hey, do you want to, you got the job. Do you want to work for us? It's like, hell yeah, let's go. And um, a funny thing is, too, is that um, when we did the interview, I remember um, the masking. Do you know Photoshop and Illustrator and After Effects? And like straight up lie. I was like, yeah, for sure. I didn't know any of those pro uh, programs. I went to a fine art school where we did paintings and illustrations and stuff like that. Um, it was o OCAD, it's more like fine arts. Um, the school where you would go to learn like digital art um, <clears throat> would be Sheridan. And um, I went to OCAD, so we never learned any of that stuff at all. Um, and if we did, it was just like very minor, move a block here, put in some typography and stuff like that, super, super basic stuff. But um, yeah, I said, yeah, of course. Of course I know all those programs, We've been doing it for years. It's like, all right, you're 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 hired, congratulations. Um, I wouldn't start work um, right away. It, would, it was like a month or so. So what happened was I went out and I um, I just bootlegged. <laughs> I pirated all those programs and I did a crash course um, by myself. Just learned as much as I could. I don't even think I learned that much at all, but it was good enough just to get by. And, um, and that's what happened. I mean, that's how I got that job. It was so weird thinking about it. Um, I would never be able to do that now because I'm just too, too practical, you know, which um, kind of illustrates that it's it's good to be a little bit crazy and naive, um, because if I wasn't, then uh, I probably would have never went to that interview, um, if I thought that was weird, um, and I wouldn't have gotten the job, which I held for 15 years. Pretty crazy, right? Um, anyway, I'm drawing this character. It, it really is just a dude standing there. So at this point here, it's not that bad. Like, make it a habit to do this all the time. Flip it. Yeah, so when you do that, you'll be able to see a lot more mistakes. Um, the brain registers things a bit differently because our eyes kind of distorts things. Um, I don't know why. I don't. There's probably a name for it somewhere. One of the smarter um, YouTube art streamers probably have a name for it. But it's like I'd actually like to drop it down a bit. I don't want to make it too even. Um, whoa, what's that? But it's funny because even until this day, I kind of just... At that time, I didn't care what I did out of ignorance because I just didn't know any better. Nowadays, because I'm older and I've had all this experience, I don't care what I do because I'm like, I've, I've already made it. I'm, I've accomplished everything I could in life. What's the worst that could happen to me? I get fired. It's fine. I have a huge, like, I have a pretty impressive resume. I could probably just get a job anywhere nowadays. Um, it's, it's pretty incredible. I'm the, actually the creative chief uh, officer at a, at a game company. Yeah, it's the highest title that you can hold. It's above creative art director or anything like that. Um, it's it's a role now. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Sounds like I'm bragging, but it's not. I always, I find this whole thing like completely freaking hilarious that I'm in this position to begin with. Um, it's it's a role that's so high, where most people in this world don't do artwork anymore. You just kind of bark orders. <laughs> It's just nuts, but there's a lot of responsibility to like getting business and uh, acquiring new like uh, partnerships and stuff like that. Um, 
But the funny thing is, even though I'm the CCO of this company, I still do like 90% of the artwork uh, for this game, which is crazy. Um, kind of sucks most days, but it's at the same time very awesome because I still get to be creative and I still get to make big decisions as well. And like I was saying before, I'm not scared to make these decisions because it's I'm just a bit crazier now and I'm just a bit older. Like I'm fully aware of what's at stake, but at the same time, I just don't give a shit. Uh, I'll just I'll just say whatever. So anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, so it helps to be a bit naive. That'll get you places and it helps to be super, super crazy. But at the same time, I believe that I am somebody that's very, very easy to work with. Um, because of all the experiences that I've had, I, I tend to say the right things. So, uh, not all the time. Like I'm, I'm a bit vulgar at, at times. But um, yeah, this is how I character design anyway. And right now he looks kind of generic. So at this point, I would just go in and, and improve the silhouette. I'd kind of muck around, really, really mess up, mess around with the proportions. I may drop his shoulder down like this a bit more. Use the eraser a lot. Just to give it a, a, a weirder, like, um, just to give it flavor. Just to make his anatomy seem a little bit stranger and more exaggerated. That's what I would do. Um, that makes a huge difference. Like, don't worry about being too perfect. Like, by doing that, you're probably saying, I liked it the other way better. Because anatomically, it looked better. But to me, something that's a bit off and a bit weird is, is much more effective as a... Um, as a design, I should say. So I kind of like this a lot. His hair's kind of going crazy. Uh, another way to add character to um, a character is throw in some crazy shit. Like Japanese do this all the time. And that's why anime is so popular and awesome. As soon as you throw in like a giant buster sword over this um, very generic person, it all, of a sudden, it all of a sudden makes him way cooler. It gives him more character. And from this point on, you would just branch out into things like maybe you don't want him to be wearing like just boring ass jeans, right? Maybe you want to do like a, a drop crotch with like cargo pants, stuff like that. Give him knee pads, stuff like that. And this is all like characters that design choices that you might want to make just to kind of give him a big ass belt, you know, because that's always popular or better. Yeah, two belts. Make this a bit more baggier, bunches up where the knee uh, the knee pads are. Something like this. Maybe he's a bit rough, maybe he has bandages like this. Like that, you know what I mean? Maybe just on one leg, because he's cool that way, you know? Um, it's the heel, feet. But yeah, that's character number one. Maybe he has um, this whacked out his hair super long, so he has a bit of a ponytail up there. I don't know. I do that a lot. Um, yeah. But anyway, I just wanted to, I just wanted to get this video out of the way, you know, just to kind of get started. And then tomorrow I want to do another one, and then the next day I want to do another one and another one. I just want to keep going this way and see where it goes just to upload some stuff, just to breathe life back into this YouTube channel because I realized I had something good. I accumulated 2,000 followers like really, really fast and that is super, super rare. Um, that doesn't happen all the time. I don't know how it happened. One of my videos went viral right off the beginning and um, some reason YouTube liked it and they put it up there and they, the algorithms just worked for me. But um, I think this is the way to go. It's just to have very low expectations and just to um, just to do these draw and I, I don't even know what I'm gonna call this thing, cause um, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, content is the thing that kills most YouTube channels. You just run out of things to say. Even a lot of the big YouTube channels that you follow, they're probably feeling it too. Like I've dug myself a hole. I've become this kind of a channel. How do I keep up with it? Um, I just want to find a concept that's sustainable. So hopefully this is it. Um, please comment on the bottom. Let me know what you guys want to talk about. And I'm going to go through all the messages um, in the comments section and just talk about them one by one. Um, answer the questions. And hopefully that'll just uh, springboard, converse, springboard me into conversation and it'll just kind of lead the entire thing. 
um, going forward. Anyway, it's going to be the Seinfeld of art channels. It's going to be the drawing channel about nothing. Um, that's it. I'm just going to say goodbye. Let's maximize this thing. Let me know what you want to see. Um, I can do demos. I can know how to draw feet, how to draw eyeballs, how to draw anything. Um, I've drawn a lot of those things. So anyway, I guess that's it. I'm just going to close it off there. It's like 25 minutes already. I'm probably going to edit a lot of it, cut it down because I don't want it to be 25 minutes. But uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.